right, today we're going to bring a fish feeder, but this one has an actually built-in Wi-Fi camera, and we're going to set that up. So I'm going to give you two options that you have. If you guys see, this is the actual plate that you have. It has a adhesive here, so it depends on what kind of uh, fish tank you have. You can actually um, have different um, setups on it. So this is one particular one that they give you a little setup in here. And then they also give you the clamps in here that you could tie it up to. So the fish feeder itself, it's here. This is the actual um, where you're going to actually set up the feed to feed the food of the fish. It goes in here. So you unscrew it and it has a filter here. So if you want to put one of those things that uh, so it won't get moisturized you could actually put it in there but the actual feeder is made of silicone if you guys can see that so uh it, it's once you seal it up it's in there and the system actually marries itself through here and there's push of buttons here so there's two buttons here that's to release the actual mechanism so if you want to reload it and so forth all right so this system here you, if they give you the screws that you need to mount it up and there's four screws that they come in here and depending how you want to actually set it up, uh, it's up to you it's, if it's in or out. But the, make sure that this is going to the water, right, to aquarium. And, of course, this is where the actual uh, camera connects to, all right? So the camera is magnetic, connects in here. And the camera doesn't go underwater. This actually has adhesive here, so it goes on the actual glass so you can see it. So we are going to set up an aquarium too and, and monitor the situation and also set up feeding times in here. So right now we want to make sure that we control the actual tightness on the outside of the aquarium, not the inside. So pretty much this is going to go open up and kind of clamp into the aquarium here. And this is where the fish food is at. So once you get that done, all you got to do is push the buttons on one side and push on the other end and then fly, find the indentations. Make sure they snap in there. All right, so this camera is just basically just locks in place here by magnet, right? And that's pretty, if, if it's not magnetic, it's not connecting, it's because it goes the other way. And All right, this is the actual application that you're going to require. It's called Smart Life, Smart Living, all right? Just make sure you download it uh, and then log in. Also create an account uh, and log into the system, and then we're going to set this up. So, so we're going to open it up. And then all we got to do is log in. Once you log into your application, you got to make sure you hit that little plus button, add device. And if it doesn't find it automatically, start searching it. If you guys can see it, start searching it. If you don't find it here, that it's a list of various things that they actually have there. All right, so we're going to connect to it. If you guys can see Smart Life, I actually found it because I couldn't find it in the actual list. And there was a fish feeder, but they didn't have the camera in there. So you hit Smart Life, and it's going to connect to it. And we're going to give it a couple seconds now that it's connecting. So it's blinking rapidly now, saying that it's connecting. All right, it didn't take that long after I just stopped, and it just automatically picked up, if you guys can see it. So we're going to hit Done, and let's test it out. And look at the things you can do here. You can actually get gallery, theme colors. Uh, night mode, uh, anti-flickering, editing. So you could do a bunch of things with the actual uh, system with the camera first. And then when you go to feeder, you could set up how many grams of, of, of feed that you want to set up. So let's feed it right now. And it's spinning. So it's feeding, it's feeding automatically. You could set up a schedule here. So you don't have to, if you're going out of town uh, and you forget, you could just have a schedule automatically feed your fishes and your, and your animals that you have um, on your aquarium which is very simple. So you can actually hit record, send a message to yourself. Uh, messages will say, see uh, if fed successfully certain times. And of course, you're gonna visualize the actual feeding time with the camera too. So that's a great thing. So let's put this to our aquarium and start feeding our fishes automatically instead of the schedule too. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so with a push of a button, you can push the button here and you're gonna see the food dropping in the bottom of the water. You guys can see that. So you can remote into it, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more. So my camera's right here. You get to see my fishes, and you get to see the feeder. The feeder's up here. But right now, let's take a look at what, how it looks in the camera. Ninety-nine point six of you are not subscribers in my channel. 
I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.